Hi, welcome back to our channel and welcome to our first official interrail vlog. We have made it to Edinburgh after a long day of traveling um, and what a day it was. <laughs> um, we started at the train station in El Puerto where we were eaten alive by about a million of the tiniest flies <laughs> imaginable. Uh, then we had a train ride which was pretty relaxing to um, the airport in Sevilla. Um, the airport was just crazy packed, uh, very busy, and that was very exhausting. And the, the plane ride was also not the most pleasant, but they had some good vegan and gluten-free food, which I really appreciated. But nevertheless, we are starving because uh, that vegan lasagna on the plane was pretty much the only thing we have eaten uh, today so far. So we are about to head out um, to get some food get a first glimpse of the city and then of course tomorrow is a full day of exploring and i hope you're as excited as we are because what we've seen of the city so far is nothing short of stunning <laughs> This is already the end of day one of our interrail trip. I know it's been a short one in terms of this video, but it sure fell long to us. But yeah, we have made it to our hotel, which is very nicely located uh, right in the city center. And yeah, we went out to eat. Um, and it's now already about to be 11 p.m. So we are gonna go to sleep and uh, are excited for what the city has to offer for us in the morning. So I'll see you then. Good night. Good morning. We woke up bright and early. Um, it's been a, I guess, decent night. Uh, the walls in this hotel are very, very thin, so we could hear our neighbors snoring and their alarm go off at 6.30 in the morning. It's now um, 7.15 and uh, yeah, we're getting ready to head out and explore the city all day.
a day it's been. It has been raining non-stop ever since we got up this morning around 7 a.m. We've been walking around a lot through the city. It's now uh, barely 2 p.m. and um, yeah, we've explored a lot. We walked all over the city, we hiked up Arthur's Seed, um, and yeah, we had a really good time other than <laughs> getting really, really wet. So we had to opt to buy a, an umbrella on the way. And while we're on the topic of things that we bought, we also got a nice uh, loaf of sourdough bread to snack on, um, along with this uh, vegan cream cheese that we got in a zero waste store here. And in another one, um, I got myself a hand balm, um, which is a solid one. So yeah, really, really nice. And yeah, we also went out to eat. Um, f finally to that restaurant that we were trying to get to last night and the food was absolutely delicious. So yeah, we're just gonna um, recover right now for a bit. Uh, we dried off our shoes, took a warm shower and um, yeah, just waiting on a, on a few other things to dry off a bit. Uh, rest our legs before we head back out again. headed out one last time for today and this is gonna be out of our comfort zone because we are going on a graveyard and dungeon tour of Edinburgh and I am the biggest scaredy cat there is so wish me luck uh, the tour starts at 8 30 and lasts about an hour and a half so it'll be nice and dark for the tour for sure I'll let you know how it goes can't make this stuff up like the second we head to this tour there's just this layer of fog over the entire city making it look extra creepy but super super beautiful as well so. first full day here in Edinburgh is coming to an end. It is now 11 p.m. again and um, we are ready to go to sleep. It's been an amazing day, um, jam-packed full of walking through the entire city, hiking up Arthur's Seed, um, going to the National Museum of Scotland, and it ended with a ghost and underground tour of Edinburgh, which I was initially a little scared of because I am uh, easily scared but it was actually really fun and very interesting um, we learned a bit about the history of Edinburgh um, but all in all as nice as it was it was definitely not worth the 16 pounds that we had to pay per person for this tour nevertheless it was good um, to get us back out out of the hotel because the city 
was just covered in fog and clouds and that was just really really magical to see um so we had a great time anyways and um yeah we'll see you tomorrow for our last day here good morning we are already getting ready to head back out again for our second full day here in edinburgh and today we're gonna venture a little bit more into the outskirts of the city um to see more of it so yeah we'll take you with us perfect morning it's been. We walked to Dean Village and um, on the Leith walkway which was just a beautiful piece of nature here in Edinburgh and um, now we're in the meadows which is a very big park here and we're just taking a break and enjoying our time here. this beautiful clear view behind us. second day here in Edinburgh has come to an end. Um, it's been another lovely day in this beautiful, beautiful city. Um, we really enjoyed walking around some more, um, really enjoyed the parks this time, took it a bit slower because the weather was so nice we were actually able to just lay down in the different parks and enjoy the views as well. And yeah, we even tried some vegan fish and chips, uh, which was very interesting. Um, quite delicious actually, but uh, very, very greasy. Um, yeah, and now we're about to go to sleep. It's very early tonight. Um, it's about to be 8 p.m., but we have a very early start tomorrow because we need to catch a train to London first thing in the morning. And um, yeah, be sure to subscribe because of course we'll take you with us to London and that'll be the next video. And this is the end of this one, so... I hope to see you next time. Bye!